factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends activity take a cell an ammeter a nichrome wire of length l and 2l and copper wire of length l procedure connect cell ammeter plug key with connecting wire in series and leave the gap between the free ends of wires complete the circuit with nichrome wire of length l between x and y now plug the key note the ammeter reading say i1 is equal to 2a now complete the circuit with nichrome wire of length 2l note the ammeter reading i2 is equal to 1a we can say that i1 is greater than i2 we can say that resistance of the conductor is depends on the length now complete the circuit with thicker nichrome wire of length l observe the ammeter reading say i3 is equal to 4a we can say that resistance depends on area of cross section now complete the circuit with copper wire of a length l and same thickness equal to nichrome wire and observe the ammeter reading say i4 is equal to 3a we can say that i4 is greater than i1 we can say that resistance is depends on nature of its material thus resistance of a uniform metallic conductor is directly proportional to its length l and inversely proportional to area of cross section a from 1 and 2 are proportional to l by a therefore r equal to rho into l by a here rho is proportionality constant called electric resistivity of the material of the conductor the si unit of resistivity is ohm meter the metals and alloys have low resistivity in the range of 10 to the power of minus 8 ohm meter to 10 to the power of minus 6 ohm meter for insulators like rubber and glass have resistivity of the order of 10 to the power of 12 ohm meter to 10 to the power of 17 ohm meter the alloys don't oxidize or burn readily at high temperatures for this we can use in heating device like electric iron toaster bulb etc whereas copper and aluminium are used for power transmission lines